What's up guys? How y'all been doing today? It feels so good vlogging in the Magnum again. vlogs for the Dodge Caliber and I just miss doing vlogs in the Magnum. It's not like I'm not driving the Magnum, just that I haven't been vlogging. So here's the rub down. I got a story to tell you guys and if y'all want to give a comment on the most ridiculous thing that happened to you with an ex-girlfriend or boyfriend, leave it down in the comments. Uh, to get y'all up to speed, I went on one date with this girl, and this girl had, how should I say, said that I was too white to be black, my car was ghetto, which is this Magnum, and I listened to white people music, and her friend, who also kind of had the personality of Rosa O'Donnell, that just, um, how should I say, going by. Come on, man. Shit. But, um, she has minor mindset of Rosa O'Donnell, but she thinks she's like Paris Hilton. Okay. So, after all that, and she refused to go on another date with me, she decides to go with this other man which she got pregnant by which is a 40 to 50 year old car pusher that you see at these major super centers like Walmart, Target, uh, Lowe's, you know, a car pusher, person pushing buggies. So I'm sitting here giggling and laughing because this woman wanted to be a lawyer. So that's the full rundown. Now, I'm sitting up here, my own business, I'm putting money on the car to order stuff off of Amazon, because I like to keep my my businesses or money separate on what I had to do, nothing tied to my bank account. And I have noticed, every time I pop up in this super center, here she comes, and she got a check, how much money I'm loading on the car, even though I'm under another cashier. So that means she should have no business looking at how much money I'm putting onto the car. When I had $900 loaded onto the car to take care of some stuff, here she come looking at it. Every time I'm loading money on the car to, you know, just come in there to do something, here she comes. So one day, I came to load a hundred and something dollars onto the card and here she comes looking seeing how much money I'm putting on there or wherever and I'm gotten to the point where I'm used to it. I'm like wherever I'm not your baby's daddy I don't owe you squat she how did it go the cashier supposed to give me cash back so I ran off without thinking and I did not get my cash back this ex-girlfriend decides not to get on the income and call me back she tells the cashier to put my money back in the drawer And I'm sitting up here, I'm like, okay. Dumbfounded once I realized what's going on. I did not notice that I was missing my cash back until I got home. So I went back to the super center 
and they had to search the cash register. They didn't find nothing. That was out of place. So they had to go on the security footage to find where my twin dollars went. And sure enough, this woman done put my money back in the drawer. She told the cashier to put my twin dollars back in the drawer without paging me back to the service desk to get my twin dollars. Ain't that a blip? And you can't, she can't lie and say that, oh, she doesn't know me. She don't know who I am. Everybody knows who I am because I come there and I shop and I used to work at this super center until I moved on. So apparently she's probably looking diarrhea face right now, knowing that she's the CSM over these people. And she told this lady to put my money back in the drawer. So that's my story. I got my 20 bucks back. Don't care what happened to the ex-girlfriend. And I told him it's not the, not the, uh, the cashier's fault. It just happens, I just forgot, but I would appreciate it more if the ex-girlfriend just pays me to come get my 20 bucks. So that's the end of this vlog. So hit me up in the comments on the most ridiculous thing that your ex-girlfriend or boyfriend have ever done. And I catch you guys on the flip side. Peace.